I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. Almighty Father, thank you for being our strength and our shelter. Your word tells us we have nothing to fear, yet in our weakness we step back. Forgive us, O Lord, and help us to faithfully step out in obedience to what you are calling us to do. And you alone will receive the praise for what is accomplished, as you alone are worthy. Gracious Father, thank you for providing everything we need. And thank you most of all for the gift of salvation through trusting in your Son, Jesus, who humbly laid down his life in obedience and endured the cross so that our sins would be forgiven. We join the hymn writer in shouting, Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Lord, as a congregation of your called out people here in Fitchburg, we want to be your faithful servants in building your kingdom here. We ask for you to reveal your plans for us, to provide the leadership we need, and to give us the wisdom and courage to go and do it. We ask for your Holy Spirit to move in a way that unites us together and empowers us for service. Lord, we ask for a blessing upon all the ministries that you have put in place here that are designed to equip us for that service. Father, we pray for the city of Fitchburg and the surrounding communities from which we come. There are so many people who have never heard the true gospel message and others who have heard but who have chosen the way of the world. We boldly pray for a spiritual awakening, Lord. Open their eyes so that they may truly see their need for a Savior and help us to make and take the opportunities to introduce them to Jesus. Father, we pray for our friends, the Owens, as they minister in Taiwan. We pray that you would encourage their hearts as they labor to see the gospel spread in that land that provides such challenges, but none that you can't overcome, Lord. We pray that you would break through the barriers of ancestor worship in the countryside and rising secularism in the cities. Loving Father, we ask that you continue to put your arms around Janice and Joel Underwood as they mourn the loss of Ruth. Give peace and comfort to the family as only you can. Father, we pray for Susanna Lilly as she attends discipleship training in Colorado. Lord, use this time to continue to grow her and equip her for service and just give her a great time of fellowship and worship. And lastly, Father, we pray that you would prepare our hearts and minds for the message for the word that you have prepared for us today. We pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.